Checking back in with the Black and Gold Network. School's back. Men's soccer is back. Here with assistant coach Kyle Zanoni. Kyle, you've had your team here now for about two weeks. A lot of new guys on the squad. What have you, you know, gotten to know about your team so far? Um, uh, we know the boys work hard. Uh, I think that every day we come here, they want to get better. I think they see um, opportunity to win and be successful, and uh, they put it in. I mean, that's one thing that I can say is that it's joy coming to practice every day knowing that we know that they're going to leave everything out on the field. So it's been great. So practice, uh, exhibition games, you guys played three of, this, three of them this year for the first time that uh, I could find ever us doing that. So you had a 2-0 loss to SIU Edwardsville and then a couple of convincing wins over Lewis and Parkside. You know, what did you guys uh, see on the field? How did it all come together for you? Well, I think uh, the SIU Edwardsville game was uh, it was tough. I mean, it's, I think we had two practices before we kind of met, and um, it showed. Uh, then moving on to Lewis and Parkside, they're two strong Division II schools. And I think what we left is just, hey, you know what, we're moving in the right direction. Uh, the fitness is getting better. Um, I think in the attack, we ended up scoring seven goals in, in two matches, which was great. But there's obviously still room to uh, improve. But uh, I think right now, I think getting everyone healthy, getting uh, people's fitness is, uh, was the most important part of this uh, three games. Sure. Say, so look at some of the stats from the three games outshot uh, the opponents. Forty-one, twenty-three, outscored them seven to three. Um, you know, were those the numbers that you guys were expecting? Yeah, and uh, we'd want more. But uh, I think those. I think, like we said before, we're going to move in the right direction. And I think it shows that guys returning and guys incoming. I think that they're showing that they want to play. They want to be dangerous in the attack, not give up many, and. Um, I think it's showing. I think it's great. Look at some of the offensive numbers, uh, top of the list from the three preseason games. Lori Bell, uh, team leading two goals, two assists, six points, 13 shots. Is that kind of uh, what you wanted to see out of Lori Bell coming into the season? Yeah, he uh, left uh, last year a uh, uh, leading point getter, and he started it off the same way. So it's he's taking his offseason really serious, uh, and he's gelled with the new guys coming in, and um, it's great, fantastic. A lot of new guys on the team this year. I think the number was 12. When you look at the stats from the first three games, Luke Goodnetter, four points. Aaron Cranfield, three points. A couple of their new names pop up there. Is anyone making a, a quick impression on you? Well, I think all of the incoming guys have made a, a great impression. I think uh, we've had some young guys come in, and we've added some guys with some experience. And it, they've all kind of put their arm around each other and help each other kind of grow in the system that we want. Um, it was great to see. Uh, we had three Green, Bay, three Green Bay guys transfer to us. Um, they had us at all last season, and they came in and kind of got some points right off the bat, and I was pretty happy to see see that for them because I know it was a big sacrifice for, for what they had to go through. But they're doing great, all of them. Um, can't really single out anybody. I think they're all just doing really well and adjusting well, so which is great. We'll get to Friday. It's for real. It's the start of the regular season. And, of course, uh, first game on the schedule, Marquette for the Milwaukee Cup. Now, you have a unique uh, vantage point for that, having played here at Milwaukee. So you went 3-1 and one as a player. What does that Milwaukee Cup rivalry mean to you? Yeah, it's, it's uh, something that's exciting. Uh, I remember going through as a player and remember how fun it was. And, and it's now it's a little bit interesting because um, we're really close with Louie and Steve Bodie and uh, the staff of Marquette. And, uh, they, they've done well. They're eighth in the country. I mean, hopefully we can give them a good match. And uh, it's a better atmosphere to be in uh, here at UWM at home with a team that I think they were pulled at one pole, eighth in the country. So it's a great, it's going to be a great atmosphere. And I know our boys are up for it. Um, I know they'll be up for it. And it's just something really special. I think it's unique. Our, what are we, three miles apart from the other universities. So it's a good little banter between both staffs and players, I'm sure. So it means a lot. It's a lot of pride. So it's, it's awesome. I'm excited. Absolutely. Last year, the way it kind of went down, uh, Marquette turned uh, the two one. What looked like a two one UBM win into a three two Marquette uh, win at the buzzer. Uh, but now, you know, we went six one at home last year. Already have two wins. Granted, they were exhibition wins, but at home under our belts. How important is it to have that home game uh, to open the season? No, I think it's important. I mean, we've been we've been pretty good at home, and. Uh, there's nothing like playing in front of the crowd that we get. Uh, I think that everyone knows that UWM, we get some of the best fans, and it's, it's fun to play in front of. So it's important. Um, obviously, it's, it's one game, 
and uh, one game at a time. They're the next team on the schedule, so it's always the biggest game right there. So hopefully we can compete with them. Eighth in the country is a, it's a, it's a big deal. So we're, we'll see. Sounds good. Well, welcome back. Looking forward to the men's soccer season. Thanks for your time today, and then good luck on Friday. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks.